Hello everybody and welcome to Tutorial Haven and today I'm going to be showing off the Red Rising modifications Gemmedster. Yeah, today I'm doing a small little tutorial on the um, Gemmedster. I'm just going to see how this video goes. If it gets some good responses and people enjoy it, I'll happily go into more depth with um, Gem and special features of the editor. So, quick basics. When you load up, you will load up on what we call F2 mode. Now, F1 mode is player mode, normal game mode, where you test your map and uh, potentially play others if you've got them installed. F2 mode is what we call map mode. This is where you develop your map, build the terrain, build hills, add textures, rivers, um, fortifications, buildings, towns, you know, anything that wouldn't, you know, be interactive. Then you get F3 mode, which we call mission mode, and this is what we um, actually build the mission with, so waypoints, um, objectives, soldiers, tanks, artillery, reinforcements, weather, um, and so much other stuff, cinematics, and so much other stuff. So when you want to build a map, you jump into F2 mode, click new, or you can load, like we have zombie approach here, I'm not going to go on stables, the map might be a bit for spoilers, um, if I jump onto that, which may be interesting. So yes, so if we go on to new, click yeah. Alright, if you just saw some antivirus thing come up there, don't worry about that, that was just um, one of my antivirus is always kicking off, uh, it's something to do with some software I have, um, but I have disabled it, but you probably, probably would have seen it. But so yeah, once you're on this menu, uh, select landscape, do not worry about these ones, unless you actually know what you're doing with them, like I just never touched them and I've never had an issue. Um, texture, I wouldn't really play, but you can if you want. You can expand the texture, but I think you can change it manually, can't you? Yeah, but I'll just leave it as 15. Um, terrain, just leave it as ground. You can change that when you're actually in. So we're going to make, you can make a custom one, but sometimes it bugs out. But I'm, I'll, for this tutorial, I'll just do a, for loading purposes, I'll do 100 by 100. This is a pretty small map. Oh, bitmap here. This is what your map is. I just leave it as this one. That's what the entire map's going to look like. It's just these circles. Um, you can change it whatever you want. Um, okay, I'm actually going to change it. You can have lava, that's a really cool texture. So if you're looking for certain stuff, um, it's how I'm guessing. Um, you can make the entire map like concrete, a road. Uh, I've gone through wrong really. Fields. So you can make it in a cornfield if you want. Grass. This is what most people do. There you go, Gamma O2A, that's what I usually use. Um, there we go, we've got a small map. Sometimes it takes a while to load depending on your computer, but this is a really small map. <clears throat> now, first thing you notice is it's usual, you can zoom in. All, all the way. Now, this mode here, this thing here, is the clip camera position. This is just letting you. This is what it actually look like when people are playing the game. If you untick that, you can zoom out. You know, do further adjustments. You can actually zoom all the way under the map. I um, don't see the point really. <coughs> um, but when I'm editing, I have that uh, unticked. So yeah, in this mode, this is where we build certain objects. So if we put in sand, we get this massive list of the stuff we can use. Yeah, so you can, it's, the possibilities of this are endless, okay? Um, so here we go, I just spawned two things in real quick there. So you can either use the search menu here, let's put gun, and it'll come up with some of the stuff from the Red Rising mod. Please, no, there we go. Um, so I've got some sort of scary, untextured, very badly textured cannon. Um, so you can do that, or you can do it manually, so go vehicle. Uh, it's worth playing with this now. Sometimes some of these will crash, especially in like um, the modern mod. You know, just in the modern section, like certain things will crash. Uh, what do I know that definitely crashes? I'm not actually going to show you a crash, but some of these crash sometimes. It's mainly when they have a weird name. But when something crashes, make sure you write it down, and then you'll just know in future. So you have you end up with like like five different things you should never click on. It's really good to do that. Um, I'm actually developing a list right now of stuff. I don't actually know where it is, that's bad news for me. Um, but yeah, so now in this mode, this is where we like develop the map and just build it in general. So we go to the hills tool, and you know, make it a bit softer, make it fast. So there we go. Um, and you can change the cursor with uh, minus and plus on your number pad. Uh, I can't do that because I've got my recording keys spidered to that, but it's not that many other games use that. But yeah, so you can build a little hill, you can build like, you know, a little trench, um, a river, but 
we will come across all this. We'll, uh, if this goes well, I'll happily go into depth with all of this stuff, all of these different features here. Um, you shouldn't be daunted by it. It's not, it's not overly, um, you know, big or anything like that. So, right. So let's get straight in. So yeah. Um, now this is where you want to save, just so you have a core cool map to work with. So these are all the ones that the blue ones are usually the ones included with the mod, and these test ones, all the ones you've added, and these ones are just R ones. So I'm gonna put YouTube test. Now, if your caps lock doesn't work to do capitals, um, like mine doesn't. It does for some people, but it doesn't for me. For some reason, I just just do shift. So I'll do shift for YouTube, and then yeah. So that works. That's a quick good thing just to know. So, um, this one it shouldn't be too long. Bigger the map, longer it's gonna take. More stuff on the map, longer it's gonna take. Now there we go. So we're in mission mode. So let's quickly get um, a wall. If we get a, oh, I'm looking for that hog. Yeah, we got a small one. So I'm just gonna build a. Just this may be quite a long tutorial, like 10, 15 minutes, but it's just so you can get quickly into the game. Now key um, key uh, key commands are um, you select, drag, and select, or you can left click, hold left click and drag, hold um, Z or um, yeah Z on your keyboard, and you can rotate using your mouse different directions. Um, and you can move the actual item once you select it. You can just hold down the right mouse button, and you can move it, or you can click to different locations. Uh, it only takes a while to get stuff, you know, exact like that ain't exact, but it's not. It just takes effort. If you want the map to look exactly like, you know, perfect, it will take ages. Um, <coughs> you can do a rotation lock, but I can't be asked to use that. It just doesn't work properly for me personally. Um, you know, scroll wheel. Now, if you want to copy this, let's say I want to have this copied, select it all, control C, you can see at the top left says clipboard copy to entities, and control V, that works for absolutely everything. So now I've got two lots of that. Um, if I copy that, and then copy that, boom. So that works for everything. Infantry, now, because that looks a bit bodgy, I'll do it like that. There we go. Yeah, that's not perfect, but it's something, isn't it? Now, now you click that. You'd have to save as every single time. Okay, just click save. There you go. That's saved. Now you can load up that whenever. That's always going to be there. Now you can send that over. Um, send it over to Red Rising. I'm pretty sure they're happy to add pretty much anything as long as it's got a certain level of quality. So yeah, that's pretty much the basic for the um, map mode, really. Um, it's just there's all these other things: bushes, trees. You know, you can shove some trees in. Uh, and you, a quick way to do this: the scroll. Through this is just use your um no what was it the arrow keys and you can you know go through this add some certain stuff this is really weird you know pimp up the map I'm gonna quickly show you the water now as my settings are pretty low due to me doing other stuff it's maybe laggy um you go to landscape water choose some of these is these not all of them look good just take this trial and progress really just grab that there you go. Got a smaller river, it changes the direction so it looks a bit more legit. There you go. You know, you can have little outflow stuff and all the other cool great stuff. So that it looks a bit better. Alright, now we jump over to mission, this is a completely different thing. Now make sure you're on this mode, the entity mode, number two. Um, this mode is literally the same as this um, F1 mode. I just call it um, mission play around mode where you can speed the time up, slow that down, add properties, change like the camera. If you want it, you know, that little bit more perfect, but you can't just get. But yeah, don't worry, we're gonna go right with this one, this quick tutorial. Um, let's add some soldiers. Now, before the Red Rising mod, it's under MP, most of the stuff's under MP. So we'll get some US soldiers, get some, just some riflemen. Oh, there we go. So, there we go, got some riflemen. You know, four guys, get a guy with grenade launcher. Uh, what else do you want to get? Get an engineer. That'll do. That'll do for a nice little squad. Um, squads are 10 as maximum, I think it is. Don't quote me on that. I think it's 10. So now you'll see these guys have got like a little orange ring around them here. This is indicating what team they're on. At the top left as well, that indicates what team they're on. Um, so zero is grey, then one is red, two is green. So that's these pretty much the main ones we'll use. So zero, I never really use grey as with some of the waypoints and stuff sometimes. So I use red for friend, uh, red for player. Green for ally and yellow for enemy, and then you can use the other ones as well. It goes all up to nine. 
but I only usually use one to f uh, zero to three. So I'm gonna make these guys the player. So player, they can you can change all that so you can make it um, player. Some other point, but I will go into depth in another tutorial. So with these guys, we want them. I'm gonna bring us over a bit so you guys can actually read it. So move move mode. We don't want them to move anywhere. That will stop them from moving. Fire mode, we can have it on return, so if they're attacked, they can return fire. It's really good in some, um, if you're making a cinematic video, it works quite well. Um, hold, so they don't shoot at all. So have that hold. AI move, if you want them to move like, at all, like you can even move them. Okay, so no advance, no retreat. That means they can't they can't move forward or move back, but if you've got move mode off, they won't move anyway. All right, so now they're set. They're set to go, aren't they? Yep. All right, now we've got to F1 mode. Select them while in the red mode, was this the red team? Place them in. Boom, they're actually ready to attack now. Well, defend. So, go back to this mode. Now, um, for this tutorial, we're actually going to use green as the enemy, but if you're having allies and stuff, it gets a bit more complicated. I'll definitely go through that with you guys. So, let's, you know, oh, let's not, let's, you know, let's, let's go to ISIS or the lols. Um, right, so we spawn them in. There's going to be two of these guys and a. Is this an? Is this actually a proper MG? Yeah. Okay. So we've got these guys. Now make sure you've got screen mode selected, otherwise they won't attack each other. I'm going to move this back, which you guys know now. There you go. Just so you can get all this in. Right. We want these guys to be exactly the same as them. No advance, no retreat. Lovely. Um, now we can get these guys placed down. All right. Let's have them right up against them. And make sure they all got their guns out. So there we go. We've got a small little battle simulated all ready to go here. <coughs> this is very, very simple. And now make sure we save this as I'm just going to call it um, US versus. No, it's oh, good times. So I just ended by recording then. Um, <laughs> oopsie. ISIS. You may just you see a bit of a nah, it'd be fine. don't worry about it. You didn't see it, so you save it. Boom, make sure it's saved both of them, and then go back to F1 mode and click start. So we've got a little conflict going on here. It's like ISIS just got themselves pinned down. God, <laughs> um, I'm gonna take control of this guy. Oh God. So yeah, it looks like the US are pretty well dug in really. Hopefully that'll bounce. This guy's nuts. Oh, he's down. So we can move them up. Now this has not gone well for ISIS. The way it should be. See, ISIS, did they, ISIS is completely now destroyed. Um, not a single casualty from um, the US there. Good times. Get these guys over. You can check it out. So yeah, just send them guys over. Now that's it. Um, you can make your missions as long as you want, or as short as you want, or as complex as you want. You can add, you can do whatever. That's the whole like cool thing with Gem. You can like you can build you know, you can build your town on here and have like a massive war. You can build your school, have a massive conflict. Um, the Red Rising mod because they got so many modern buildings and stuff, so we can really get um, creative. Um, like a quick spoiler. Uh, me and Spartan PZR are actually working on a. Snow map at, at the moment based off one of the multiplayer maps. Um, it's a Russian um, facility. It's going to be attacked by some special forces to uh, to take out some high tech stuff. Bit of spoilers there. But yeah, once you're done with the mission, um, like you've tested it and you're like, all right, don't start adding stuff in there. So click make sure you click in. It'll just fail. Can this may take a little bit. There you go. So I thought the US were a bit OP on that. So I'm going to take these guys out. You know, reduce them a bit. And let's just be stupid and give ISIS a tank. Go vehicle modern. So actually, no, no we'll, we'll give them a tank. That'd just be stupid. Um, if we go, oh no, it's this one. I think no, it's Grash. That we get light. Carterra. That sounds okay. That's got a sixty on it. That'll do. Now get these guys. Now here's a vehicle. Vehicles work exactly the same as infantry do. Uh, except for they, they actually, they're a car. So make sure you've got that the vehicle selected. Um, I don't want it moving around. I just want them to be able to sit in it and use the MG on the back. These guys, I copied them from here so they got all the same traits, and you won't need to change them really. Um, 
just get these guys in this. I don't actually know how it works. Okay, I need to get another guy. So I haven't really played around with the ISIS stuff yet. Alright, so this this vehicle is now ready to move. So you can fit, you know, it works like it's metaphor. If you play metaphor, you know how the vehicle mechanics work, you know. Um that all works fine. These guys won't move. I can have them move. Um yeah, for this yeah, I might as well have them move. This may no actually no, best not. Um so these guys are ready to go. Now save. Make sure I just save both of them just because I've had issues sometimes with that. If the mini map's in your way, you don't want it, click M, it gets rid of it. Nice simple. Alright, let's start it up. So now the US have definitely got a bit of a bit of an issue now. So they're getting more pinned down. They're not gonna be able to move as well. Don't know what there's oh, oh we didn't even stand a chance. So if we Oh god, no. Uh that I'm not responsible. So now ISIS has definitely got the upper hand. So that's just like little you can do with the Edstar. Uh, if you guys want me to go into more depth, you know, show you how to make like patrols, um, more stealthy missions, uh, more complex attacks, you know, like you know, movement base, like squads, um, tank battles, aircraft battles, anything you want. If you just message me below, um, and then we'll decide what we do next. Um, the majority of comments, if they all say, oh yeah, show me how to make a patrol, I'll happily do that. I'll just go with the majority, but it's just easier. But yeah, some people have requested this, and I hope you guys enjoyed the content. It's been a bit of a long one, um, but next video, depending on what we're doing, it'll just be short, because this is a bit of an overview. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.